Maybe we should have talked about who was going to talk first. And maybe we should have should have uh, agreed on that. But uh, hello, everyone. Welcome to another Link to the Past randomizer race here. What were we thinking? Well, this this is unfortunate. I don't. We don't get any audio. Check it's some audio, but it won't be the game audio. But our runners are both using MSU packs that have not been approved. Speaking of our runners, we got Matt Cap versus Andy for a a very hyped game three in the round of 32 of the Length Pass Randomizer main tournament. Our mode today is Tournament Key Sanity, which is just like regular Key Sanity, but slightly worse. On comms, I am Koi. With me is Karaoke. I'm looking at uh, at Andy's choice of overworld colors for today, and it's like a uh, I don't know poison linked to the past flavoring grape grape grass punch flavored water greenhouse. Yeah, it's kind of awkward. I'm I'm really shocked we're seeing Uncle starts in Key Sanity from both runners. Uncle Start is a uh, is a less common opener for Key Sanity, so to see it from both runners seems uh, really unusual. But like one of the main reasons you wouldn't want to do Uncle Start in Key Sanity is because you don't want to orphan the first two checks of Castle Tower. But in Tournament Key Sanity, those are vanilla, so no stress there. Now this is a this is a game three of the series. I believe Andy took the first round and Matt Cap took the second. And I wonder how much of the routing is going to be based on uh, what is my opponent not going to do, and how can I get advantage from doing maybe not maybe those things instead. Definitely lots of second guessing and mind games going to be happening throughout this for sure. Or not. <laughs> Who knows? We can't see inside their brains. Wait, you can't? I thought that was on the requirements for doing this thing. No, their, their skull is not thin enough. Oh, that's a sword on Lumberjack. Fun! Okay, something to file away for later, for sure. And we just hope that we don't need that. And we find, you know one of the other swords, all of the other swords that we need elsewhere, please. It is very, very unlikely we're going to need that particular sword, but it's not its not impossible that we'll grab it anyway. If you have to kill Aga for some other reason, and you happen to have the boots, you might as well get it, right? But seeing as how Aga himself is locked behind a sword, we're probably not going to be doing Aga just for that. Andy did not get any uh, bombs on the uh, lost switch check. So coming down here to the 50-50 bushes to avoid the unfortunate back and forth through Kakariko. Madcap doing the same thing. I'm surprised we we're doing the 50-50 bushes instead of just going like the shop to Sahasrila. Yeah, it's not like they don't have any money. They got some money. Yeah, we got they got 90 rupees. I mean, they could have just gone to Kakariko and bought bombs. You just have to walk all the way down and then all the way up again, so it's a little bleh. But I mean, like, if we thought if we thought the uncle start was a good play, then Sahasra was basically the same thing, but three items instead of two, right? Three is better than two. And then you get to buy bombs on the way. It's like it's like all all positives. But we're going to Kakariko. Andy a little ahead because of Matt Cab's check of lumberjack. Bombs are overpriced. <laughs> I think Andy might be buying bombs here in a second. Unless he gets really lucky in Chicken House. Nope. <laughs> Insurmountable. Definitely. Well, when, when your opponent's as powerful as Andy, 
you don't want to give him any advantage if you can. Why not save the one bomb for the well? So this this uh, the, their whole their whole routing so far has been about efficiency of walking, and uh, to go all the way up to the well and then you don't find any bombs, you walk all the way back down to the shop and then you walk all the way back up to Blindside Island. That's just slow. Yeah. So Both, it, uh, runners are just trying to cut time any anywhere as possible. Now Matcap has the extra bomb, so he could have gone up to the well and just hoped to find bombs up there. But it looks like he's just going to take the safety play to buy bombs first. What was on library? How could how could anybody know that? <laughs> Who pays attention to things like that? Ah, uh, there were bombs in the well, so it would have been fine. Yeah, library, nothing good. So that means we're gonna get boots like super early, right? Because whenever, whenever we need the boots, they come super late. Yeah, but there's a sword on lumberjack, so that that breaks the library rule. Now we're never gonna get boots, and that sword will never be available. A mushroom. You well, mushrooms, mushrooms do grow in basements. If you keep your basements nice and moist, it makes sense for it to be there. That word isn't lewd on its own, but it sounds lewd. <laughs> it summons, it summons imagery. Not appropriate for the stream. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't, you don't like locations where mushrooms grow? Oh, there, there's a sword. Hey, nice sword. <laughs> Moist boots. <laughs> See, and now we go to Sahasrila anyway. It's like, well, I, you would have just done this first, right? And then you could, uh, oh, I guess it doesn't really matter in the end. It's fine. He might go into Eastern here, too. Although, I honestly, I think if you're if you were planning to go to early Eastern, you would have just done South Shore first. And uh, still have the opportunity to opportunity to avoid it. Green pendant in desert. We'll see what Andy does. We'll get a club. Yeah, he's going eastern. This is a uh, very aggressive kind of play to immediately go to eastern, even even before mini Moldorm cave. He might be thinking this is something his opponent might do. This is this is generally very dangerous to go to Eastern this early, even before the big key, because mm -hmm. you this this opens the possibility for the triple dip. Oh no, not the triple layer bean dip. But this is this is key sanity, so it's very likely there's just going to be something here in the front of key sanity Easter. It's not that aggressive in key sanity before mini Moldorm cave. Yeah, it is. What are you talking about? Oh, oh, that's, oh that's where the boots were. Now it makes sense why he went here. <laughs> Was that was that dog just following its nose to the stinky shoes? He could smell the moist boots. Oh, now now I got you doing it. Great. I am shocked, shocked by this play. I don't know what happened in their in their previous game. Maybe maybe an early Eastern dive was critical in one of their games. Well, I'm shocked he went to Eastern. I'm not shocked that the boots were here. Yeah, it's more it's more the Eastern play before other basic overworld checks. You know, in that normal beginning. Of going around and getting places, especially like you know, mini Moldorm cave, very easy because we got a sword. You can just you know poke them and stuff, even if it takes a little bit longer than aiming bombs nicely and 
whatnot. But dungeon dip this early, you, you know, don't know when you're going to be coming back here to finish it, if you're going to be coming back here to finish it, depending on what it is. Now, Andy getting the boots early is definitely very, very good. Um, but it's not... It's not unlikely Madcap's just going to get forced into Eastern anyway, so maybe not that big of an advantage. All right, Andy goes uh, mountain or sanctuary here. We'll get Bach Rocks, probably back of escape, maybe climb the mountain. He also haven't checked Lumberjack yet, so uh, compare all that together. Oh, Madcap, be careful! And back of escape, we got a TR small bottle and flippers. Okay, that's gross. <laughs> more, more, more shoes. I, I'm convinced that that using the pug sprite now because it's a dog, and dogs can always find shoes to go pick up and bring to you. That's why that's why I find them so early today. So we get this bottle, which is essentially just a fetch quest at this point, but you'd have to go all the way back to Kakariko just to check one item. And then we get the flippers, which are like, okay, great. That's like three more checks or four more checks. Um, but it also makes Zora really, really gross because we have 35 rupees. And Zora costs a little bit more than that. Imagine if the Zora money cost to get the item was also randomized in some categories. That'd be hilarious. You go up to Zora with 500 and he's like, nah, I want 1,000 today. I would, I would accept it as long as he told me what he was selling me. That seems like a fair trade-off, right? Yeah, like, I don't, pretty if, fair, If yeah. I don't get to know how many rupees it costs, at least I should be able to find out what it is. And we have now seen both gloves... Looks like we're going to have mitts for Dark World access today. And Andy going Agina before Mini Moldorm Cave. This is not super surprising, though, in Key Sanity. In Key Sanity, there's, there's so many more items that you're looking for. Like, well, you need the same number of items. It's just all the keys, you don't know where they are anymore. So, they, like, you're looking for them extra. So, doing things like, like, man, maybe I get to skip a Gina or Ice or a Cave. They just, they pretty much don't happen in Key Sanity. So, just getting yeah, it out of yeah. the way quickly makes a lot more sense. Get, get those, get those one offs done before they're super out of the way to do. And you're just like, or like, to the point where you have so much stuff open that, you're just following the path and those, you know, you forget about it. Yeah, and then it was just, and then doing it before Mini Mold Arcane, there's just more opportunities to find some cash for Zora. You can see Andy doing Hulahan here, but it's not even it's like half as much as he needs. He could have gone to like the 50 rupee cave, but that's pretty pretty slow for one item. Unfortunately, he's not going to find any more rupees here in Mini Moldorm PV there. Yeah, that would have been nice to just do, you know, uh, probably hoping for one Hulahan and then might maybe find one of the three hundos along the way, these uh, other checks. Now, he doesn't have to do Zora, right? Like, he could he could just go do the flipper checks and say Zora has nothing and move on with your life. You see that not too uncommonly, but uh, it's a little more dangerous in Kisani, like I was saying, because there's more items out there. So it's more likely Zora has one of them. But eventually you have to you have to make the choice, right? Do I do I sacrifice this location for avoiding the farm or do I spend the time to make sure I don't skip anything? And small key in the dark cross chest. So we got the glove in front of escape, but not much else important. Madcap gonna go back of escape here for sure. Yeah, 
And Andy, where are you going? We're going flipper checks. Well, one flipper check at the very least. It wouldn't be that crazy to, like, just do hobo and then, uh, you know, look for rupees before coming back to all the other ones. Yeah, a bit, a bit but, of a long walk just to do hobo and then come back later for everything else. Yeah, but uh, I, I think it's a lot more likely Andy's just going to orphan Zora and say the rupees aren't worth the time. That was a was that another sword on uh, the ledge or on the island? It was it was so it was so quick. I barely saw it, but um, I, I believe so. I think it was the master sword. Yeah, Andy going back for yeah. flipper checks. He did the fake flipper hop off. <laughs> you have the real flippers. Old habits die hard. I do it all the time. <laughs> All right, 300 rupees in Waterfall Ferry. That is the dream. Macap going to go back for those flipper checks as well. And there is Moon Pearl. So we have Dark World Access no mode. Oh, and upgraded his B as well. Nice value. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, no more money for Zora, but we can scope out the ledge. It is a medallion. Ah. All right, we'll probably be back there. Yeah, I mean, you just you just hope you can get the money for Zora before you have to have those mitts. Very likely. But both runners still looking for that last piece of Dark World access. Matcap has to go to Sahasrala. Oh, which means he's not going to get boots, huh? Yeah, that's bad. Okay, so because Matcap's going to do, eventually he's going to get forced to go over to Sahasrala Eastern. And he's going to check Sahasrala first because he doesn't want to go into Eastern. Gets Dark World access and then oh, no. no way he goes into Eastern. That right, because that, that cracks open so much more. And stuff that you can possibly you know make more progress in than dipping into Eastern than when you can't even finish it. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's not. It's not like you automatically lose just because your opponent had the boots for longer. But it's not good, right? <laughs> it's not good. It's not. A, it's not a good feeling at the very least that you're 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 trundling along in your in your old sandals for for most of possibly most of the seed. Depending on when, say, like Eastern, Eastern Keys, Eastern Big, Bow, all that, all those, all those Eastern thingies get found. Or otherwise, when other progression ends and you're kind of um, streamlined into checking places that you might not be able to finish. Will Andy peace out from Hyrule Castle after getting mitts to the first chest? No, no one would ever do that, ever, <laughs> for any reason. <laughs> I mean, like if you were like one item from Go Boat, maybe, but no, not at not at this stage in the game for sure. At the most, you might see him like not do Dark Cross just because he has to Death Warp, but even that's unlikely. He'll probably do that too. All right, and here is Dark World access for Matt Cap and saving quit. No, oh, whoa. Oh, we're going into Eastern anyway? Okay. Alright, this is uh, unusual, but hey. Yeah, forget forget everything I said like two minutes ago. Gosh do they, darn it. Do they just have like a sixth sense on this food location? Is that what this is? I think they're just they're just really worried about each other having done Eastern, I think. Neither, I, I would assume neither of them really want to do Eastern, but they each think the other one is going to do Eastern, so then they do Eastern anyway. <laughs> something, something, land war in Asia. And Sicilians.
All right, well, Matcab does get the boost a little bit after Andy, but quick enough. Meanwhile, Andy going in front of Escape Row, he will find his own Dark World access. Man, I'd be leaving Eastern after two chests here. Especially having gotten the boots. But we'll go the whole way. The thing is, Matcap wasn't planning to do Eastern. Like, he, he was gonna save and quit, and he rethought mm. of it. Yeah, it's like very much, on, on second thought, I, I'm reconsidering my, my planning here. Definitely, I definitely wrote that one down for, you know, an, an hour and change from now when we interview the runners and be like, what, what was that about? Because I'm curious. It is weird that Andy did Dark Cross first. Because it's, it's harder to Death Warp from Dark Cross. But regardless, we're doing all the checks here. And he'll about, he's about to find his own Dark World access. By the random music. Uh, so for this for this tournament, this is the first time Speed Gaming has allowed the runners to use their own custom MSU packs, their own custom music. Uh, but it is a little restricted. Not not all of them are approved, and both of the runners today are using custom music that is not on the approved list. So instead, we're just playing. Uh, I, I can't even hear the music. I'm not sure exactly what you guys are listening to, but it's it's uh, just a soundtrack that's playing. I, I ended up personally pulling up the YouTube playlist of a uh, link to the past soundtrack because the silence was so unnerving. I had to have some music in the background. Bomberman 64 music is amazing. Well, it's not it's not unapproved because it's not amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Spe it's... Speed gaming only takes the most wonderful of soundtracks for games. It's it's, uh... it's, it's a it's a uh, uh, what do you, what do you call it? Not popularity. I can't think of the word. Being like the top of the best and only taking that. It's uh, it's for for like DMCA issues, you guys. Yeah, that's that's the real reason don't, why. It's uh, don't be silly. We don't want the entire vods to get muted, and then you can't hear anything, including including Koi's lovely voice and my okay one. All right, both runners with their dark hold access heading over to uh, Kakariko at the same time. Both gonna check Sick Kid before heading anywhere else. I would have put this off personally, and I would have been punished because <laughs> it's a lamp. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking like like early in the seed, they both specifically routed in such a way to avoid having to go back and forth across Kakariko. And here they are intentionally going back and forth across Kakariko for one check. I guess they have the boots, so it's slightly better, but it's still. And right, breaking got, the stink. We got we're divergence. Going up, we're going down. Yeah, Madcap heading into Skull Woods. Andy going straight to Village of Outcast. Now, we don't have anything for Skull Woods. No small key, no big key, no fire rod. But even without all those items, that this is still five in logic checks in here. You thought Andy was more ahead. Uh, Andy did um, extra checks because he had the boots for longer. He did bonk rocks. He climbed uh, up to Spect Rock Cave. He's got the Death Mountain save and quit. Um, Matt Cap did do something Andy didn't do, though, and he grabbed that Bombos medallion on Zora Ledge, although Andy knows it's there. Oh, Matt Cap running into a little trouble here. I like to call this getting bullied. Thankfully, we have a sword for this next room. Oh, the Gibdo wasn't in the way. Sometimes the Gibdo is just standing right in the doorway, and you have to slash in order to uh, get out of there. 
And if you don't have a sword, you're just, just out of luck. All right, so there, there's a 300 rupee pickup. So if, if, if Andy goes to Skull Woods soon, then I'll kind of keep that Zora money in the pocket. Or have that Zora money in the pocket for whenever he ends up swinging back up that way. Meanwhile, Andy does find the mirror in front of Thieves Town, but I don't think Andy's going to go to Skullwoods anytime soon. It, it, you would typically go south from here on your way to Hype Cave. And with the mirror, it's even more value to do that because now you can do Smiths and Purple Chests and K45. Yeah, definitely a larger density of checks you can kind of all string together that way, but... uh. 300 rupees is, is super nice, though, for Metcap, but it's not that big a deal at the moment. Got a Meyer key, not very helpful. One more check here for Metcap. Just 20 rupees. All right, so yeah, not not super great here. No, well, Andy can also just dig up 300 rupees. That that's fine that works. too. Yeah, that works. I need your help, Chad. I did Aga for Dark World access. Tracker says you can get to Super Bunny and Hookshot Cave, but you don't have a mirror. Well, if you have a hookshot, you can hookshot across the bottom of Death Mountain. Isn't learning rando fun and learning all these different ways that the game allows you to tra traverse places? I remember doing that back, you know, four years ago when I got into this and being like, oh, I didn't know that existed. I didn't know you could do that. There's there's a whole there's a whole document on the rando Discord called the Gotcha Guide. That is oh, like a hundred, a hundred things with like little, uh, I didn't know you could do that answers. That is a cute name and I need to go dig that up. All right, Andy, with purple chest in tow, heading down to South Dark World. Purple chest is such a good friend. He's always there for you, being all purple and boxy it, it can it can you can put things on top of it to drag stuff along because you can't open it uh you can lay, lay your head on it rest your back against it when you get tired it's the perfect friend andy you forgot your friend as soon as i said it's the perfect friend he just leaves it behind like that how rude how can you just use him like that Oh my god. The poor purple chest. Bombos was on Zora ledge. Uh, Andy looked at it, but chose not to walk all the way around to get a medallion he might not need. Probably gonna grab it with Zora he does later. Apparently you don't need the purple chest. The guy just gives you an item anyway. But so far, nothing super great on this route. Oh, Andy going first to Swamp. Having seen the first chest of Swamp be very spicy in other races, and I mean, you're swinging down by here, just take the extra minute or so to crack it open and maybe see if it's spicy today, too. Oh, he has a small key, excuse me. First oh, okay. two chest Swamp. Okay, two. Two chests. One, that, one whole that's, more chest. That's twice as good, you guys. Definitely, definitely 100% worth it to do this just because you have one extra chest. <laughs> uh, honestly, I'm I'm surprised Andy didn't go to Skull Woods because like if he if he feels like he needs to make plays like going immediately to Eastern and make plays like doing first two chest swamp, you would have thought he would have gone to to Skull Woods too, right? Ether in the second chest. Could be important. I 
All right, hype cave. We need we need some things. We have very few things. We need more. We got a lamp. Thieves big. That's gross. Turtle rock small. Well, the thieves big gives us one, two checks in logic. No. Three. Three checks in logic. Because we have the small key, right? Alright, Swamp and Misery Mire are our five, six crystals, so you know that maybe that Ether Medallion's gonna be useful after all. Or maybe the Bombos one will be, or maybe both of them will be completely useless and everything will be quake today. Alright. Clearly, what the runners need to do is go kill Aga and get the Tempered Sword on Lumberjack, though. Oh, yeah. Spicy. Talk about things that are never going to happen. Oh, did he not do Ice Strike Cave earlier? No, Andy went up there. Oh, he's going to Catfish. Still five rupees short for Zora. <laughs> We need, we just gotta find five rupees. I don't remember. Yeah, he's killing extra enemies hoping <laughs> for drops. Come on, Catfish, this is the one time I want you to drop a, a Give big Give me red. five rupees. Big red, big blue. Come on. Ugh. So you you just no. wish, man, if I had just stayed in dig game for like two more seconds. Oh, wow, oh, you're so go. lucky. <laughs> that. Oh, I couldn't believe that. <laughs> that is a qualified gamer moment right there. Holy moly. Plot armor. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. So I, I deem today's uh, link to the past randomizer protagonist Andy. Oh, always get what he wants. That's so lucky. It's not a, a, not heart, a huge though. deal. It's just a hard container, but still the efficiency because Madcap's probably going to go to Zora later anyway, right? And it'll be less efficient because they already got Bombos. Yeah, Madcap also doing the the two, two chest swamp dive here, hoping for. Something nice. I'm gonna get that uh, ether medallion. Well, it makes a little more sense for Madcap because he he had gone to Skullwood, so the world is very very small for him right now. But uh, you know, doing it before Hype Cave tells me that he was always planning to do those two checks. All right, is Andy doing Skullwoods now? This would be the time to do it. I mean, I think you come over here because of Thieves Town, but n there's no reason to put off Skull Woods any longer. And if you get a hammer, ooh, you could you could full clear Skull instead of or Thieves instead of Orphaning. Yeah, unfortunately, that won't be the case here, but it, it, it sure would have been nice. Yeah, all they all they really have left, um, other than back of Thieves, is um, what we can go to Hera, which we do have a big key for. Actually, should have done that first, huh? I would have liked that better. Yeah, right? Why not go to Hera? I mean, I guess it's all... Well, I mean, Andy has the save and quit for it. Yeah, like, it's in Logic. You have the big key. We got fire. Like, the only downside to Hera is we don't have the hammer to continue to East Death Mountain. But, you know, we have... That's that's a small downside compared to orphaning the Thieves Town big chest forever, right? Yeah, just just small. He might be he might be going east. He had to do bumper cave and great red ledge. Matt Cap, where are we going? Where are we going? Oh, we're going up the mountain. I see. Okay, yeah, Matt Cap's gonna go to Hera. Stuff. Yeah, it's gonna be save the old man, get your save and quit. Swing up over to Hera and uh, 
Maybe we will finally see a dungeon clear. Time for a fairy revival. Uh, well, yeah, I don't think we have a fairy. <laughs> Andy can do it though. I've seen him. Do, I've seen him do it before. He just needs a fairy. And I kept getting that small key to Thieves, learning that uh, two two extra checks in Thieves Town are in Logic. Nothing on the bumper cave. All right, next from Andy, we'll see the Graveyard Ledge. Now, this is this is a check that's going to be a lot harder for Matt Cap to get to, having already done Skull Woods. Just a pod key. Another place we currently have access to that nobody wants to go. A book. Okay, well, that adds to the value of going up to Hera. We can also get into desert, for which we do have the big key and fire. However, it's a pendant. It may be a pendant, but it is a green pendant. You never know. Yeah, you're just not, uh, you're not super concerned about it as long as it's not in logic. Okay, so Andy was never going to Thieves Town, apparently. Okay. Or maybe he might have, maybe he was gonna go to Thieves Town, but then the book changed his mind. Because it adds more value to Hera. Mm -hmm. Come up here and get that, uh... Or who knows? Maybe, maybe he forgot about Hera, and he just remembered when he got the book, right? Who knows? <laughs> oh, look, the fourth sword. Alright, well, we will definitely, definitely, totally not be beating Aga for a sword. Alright, did the book matter? Da 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 uh, mm, Maybe. Possibly. <laughs> we can't say for sure. More pod keys is better than less pod keys. How about that? Whether there's more to it than just uh, wh whether the pod key is worth it, it's um, it's also will Matt Cap have the book by the time he comes back up here, but before pod, you know, who knows? But on the whole, nothing super helpful from climbing up to Hera. The sword, the sword's great and everything. It just it's not going to open any new checks for us. But yeah, yeah, it's a crystal, and you only skipped Hera Basement, which you don't really want to do anyway. Nice bonk setup there for Andy. Yeah, I was just, I was just gonna say the same thing. It's very, it was a very smooth setup to uh, get it, and kind of flashy too. Well, that's the one uh, most people learn first for for NMG, because you always have the boots. But it's not as as a uh, popular in Rando because you often don't have the boots. And Macab making the play into Thieves Town. This is there's four checks back here, but one of them requires the hammer. But the other three are all in logic. Notably, Macab did not run over to King's Tomb and Graveyard Ledge first. Yes, it is Crystal Thieves. 
Oh, we already did King Sim. Alright, well, Graveyard Legend. Andy starting in Link's house. Where are we going? Desert, I guess. I guess I guess following what the game is giving you is is a way to do things. Ice Palace? Oh my god, nobody's doing Ice Palace. <laughs> Are you crazy? <laughs> although although you're right, Ice Palace is an option. This this entire seat could be bottlenecked by going to Ice Palace without the hammer or the cane. That's, it's such a terrible location, though, that you don't really mind doing it late, because it's pretty much guaranteed your opponent also did it late. Unless they do some sort of, you know, as someone, as someone commented in chat, clown routing. Just, just throw it against the wall and say, I'm going to try this out today. It's only clowning if you can't explain your reasoning. Hello, Hammer. Hi, Hammer. <laughs> okay. Hammer is pretty good. We like that. Graveyard Ledge book leading to Hammer in the front of small keyless green pendant desert. Mm, I like sure. it. Sure. That, that's, a, that's a good item on the menu. Mirror big too. Uh, well, hopefully after after Thieves Town, Matt Cap uh, heads over to Graveyard Ledge. But the, uh, the main problem right now is Madcap's never going to get the Thieves' Den Big Chest, right? Like, that's just, like, when ever could you? Meanwhile, Andy's just going to go to Thieves' Town because it's a full clearable dungeon and get that Big Chest. So if there's anything really good in the Big Chest, that could spell disaster for Madcap. Yeah, it's just one of those things where it just ends up so far shuffled in the back of the filing cabinet that it's like a... You leave it for that long, it becomes, it becomes almost a Hail Mary. Like, I'm just going to go try this. But I've done everything else first. Which... I, I like I like waiting to do thieves for the hammer. Um, typically, it's a little different in key sanity, but but generally what happens is if there's something really good in the big chest, I'm really 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 far ahead, and more likely if there's nothing in the big chest, then I'm a tiny little bit behind. And that's and when we when we're talking about like gambling risk versus a reward, that's that's what you're looking for, right? Very low punish for very high reward. Nothing on green pendant Lambo. And Matt Cap did run over to Graveyard Ledge, so gonna get that book. Not too far away from getting the hammer now. Going back to the Dark World, where are we heading? Catfish? Catfish, okay. Oh, you're not gonna go pot, are you? It looks like probably just catfish and Azora. Yeah, right? catfish and Azora, and then think from there. I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes you'll see people go this direction due to catfish, and then backtrack a little bit and go down pyramid into pod when uh, you don't have the hammer. Yeah, thief sounds a no-brainer here for Andy. It's a it's a dungeon you can full clear, even if he doesn't know it's a crystal. Like you just you just go full clear dungeons. Yeah, hammer pegs too. Hammer pegs is also going to be a nice uh, point of contention, and Macap is backtracking. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna grab a potion. This is for sequence breaking in pod. Man, I I, I thought Macap would wait on pod after getting the book, right? Because you can um go get the green pendant, even if it's not a logic, and then maybe. 
come to pod from the south and grab Bombo's tablet on the way ish. Ish. Well, I mean, it's not really on the way. It's there. <laughs> on ish the way. On the way ish. On the ish way. Something like that. And then, uh, and then you can turn in the green pendant on the way to pod. But you know, it's it's terrible. Like this, it's faster to go to pod now than it would be to go later, unless going later means you have the hammer. So if you think this is where the hammer is, it's better to do it now, right? This could matter, though. I mean, we got three pod keys. Uh, quite a bit of this dungeon is in logic on three pod keys. <laughs> Dash a little too far there. Where are you going? Yeah, it is four. I don't know. I don't think the, the fourth key doesn't do anything more in logic. Pod relevant keys are two, four, and six. I think they're all relevant. All right, thieves down, big chest. What do you got? Oh, okay, it's just bombs. Okay, so just a, a it's like it actually ends up being like a little time loss for Andy as long as Matt Cap never goes back to thieves down, right? Then he just gets to skip that check. Yeah, I believe I believe that as long as it's not entrance rando, then the game uses the smarter logic. Oh, 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 oh. We got it. We got it. We got it. Keep going. No! So oh, close. The wrong way. oh no. Alright, one one try. It was almost there. The bow is in pod. <laughs> what do you know? Okay. Well, that's two more checks in logic. Although we were going to sequence break this anyway. Yeah. Now you, just, now you just got a potion in your pocket. Alright, so this is the other check that's going to be really hard for Madcap to do later. Hammer pegs. And on the right side of pod, we got 20 rupees. And a key! Ooh, to desert. Ooh! Hey, that's really good for Madcap. That's gonna put, uh, that's gonna make desert better. We get two more checks there. I don't know if it's worth getting the hammer later, but it's nice. It's something. I totally missed hammer pegs. It was nothing, right? It was just a just a just a bahar car container. Okay. All right. Well, that's good for Matt Cap as long because so so it's it's not unlikely he'll never go back to those two locations. Um, he might, in which case, uh, then Andy gets the time back. But for now, Andy actually loses a little time by finding the hammer too early. And with that hammer in tow, Andy is definitely not going to pod. East Death Mountain has all the things. And if you can hover, you don't even have to Orphan Hookshot Cave. Pod key and pod. What a shocker. Pod key and a bow. It's like ultimate value pod. And a fetch quest just for good measure. Can Andy hover? I'm. I think he's been practicing. Better than he was. For the for the uninitiated. Uh, 
Andy Andy is a very very popular I don't know, I guess he's a personality runner person. Uh, he has many people who enjoy his uh his gameplay and streams. And uh because of that, uh it's kind of become a meme in the community that Andy is the only only person who can hover. <laughs> It's not true. There's lots and lots of people who can hover, but whenever hovering gets brought up, it's always uh, centered on on Andy. Yeah, I'd say Andy was one of the earliest people who could pull it off consistently, and was always that, more that more more visible when showing it off. Yeah, that's it's now, probably it's probably not true that he was like the first one to do it, but he's, yeah, the, he's he's just the the most well known person who does it all the time. The, the, they, I think they call it the trope the trope codifier. When you're talking about tropes that, you know, you might, you might not have been the first one to do it, but you're the one that made it a thing. All right, Matcap going up to Ether Tablet all by its lonesome instead of full clearing desert. I mean, okay. I just, I just straight up disagree. Why would you do that? <laughs> I don't see why you would do that. Oh, there's the hover. Everybody was wondering. There it is. <laughs> Get the cane. Go hover in celebration. Why not? Gets a pocket. Yeah, I don't know why Metcalf would go all the way back up to Ether Tablet like that. I mean, Desert's a pendant, sure, but it's still like, like a hundred items, give or take a few. Give or take like ninety something of those. Yeah, so being able to hover in in this situation is is really really fancy, right? Oh, oh. Oh, well, we get progression out of it too. Um, but even even if he didn't find progression from the hovering, it adds to the value of this play. It makes it easier to decide to go to Death Mountain because you know you're not going to have to leave behind Hookshot Cave. Where right. somebody who can't hover is like, well, I mean, I could go to Death Mountain, but I don't have the Hookshot yet, so I'm going to put that off for a while. Now, sometimes this actually could hurt you, right? Some, it's it's possible to go somewhere too soon and get the items in the wrong order. And then but, you just end up wildly, wildly enough out of logic, and depending on how like experienced you are as a player, trying to remember where your lo logic was supposed to be leading you can be rough to get back on the path of yeah. expecting where to go, and then just not kind of wildly flailing about for an hour or two. But g generally, generally having more options is better than than fewer options. So uh, being being even even just being able to hover. Um, even if it doesn't actually lead to progression, can be pretty powerful in randomizer. Especially if you can do it as consistently as Andy does, and like like he didn't fail a hover once in all of Hookshot Cave, right? No, nah. clean. There, are a lot of people can hover, but not not that many can hover at that level of consistency. And with Fire Rod from Hookshot Cave, that is uh, two more checks here in Pendant Turtle Rock we can do. And on the right side of Desert, which Andy was unable to do, we get a Skull Small Key. That's not important. And 20 rupees, unfortunate. Well, the Skull Small... I don't know, it could matter, but it, it's not going to matter. Andy doing a good job remembering that he's got no hook shot and has to do the long way around for that fire rod room. Where is the bow Andy's missing? And it's in its vanilla location, of course. <laughs> Was that another another pod key? I missed that key that Andy just got. I thought it was pod, but I'm not sure. I only saw the second pickup. I think the heart container. Keys, keys can just be so tiny sometimes, you know? Hard to see. All 
the P in the corner, that is indicating that this is a pendant dungeon. It'll either be a C for crystal or a P for pendant. Andy has not turned in his green pendant, no. He hasn't been back to that area at all, which is why we're like, well, why don't you go to Pod? Pod's great. Yeah, with uh, four keys, probably won't be too long before he goes there. But, you know, it'd be nicer if you had a bow. It'd be nicer if you had the big key. Nicer if you had the eastern big. A lot of reasons to wait. And of course, he doesn't know that one of those reasons to wait is going to be right there. All right, Matt Cap moving on to Lanmo. Andy skipped Lava Chest, right? Stole the key. Looks like he stole the key. Oh, he did Lava Chest. Oh. On three keys. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, that's where the bug nut was. I saw the I saw the bug nut pick up, but I don't know why my mind blanked out that being lava chest for some reason. Pendant TR. Yeah, it's just you could have um go to lava bridge lava lava go to lava chest after laser bridge and scum the key. Slower though. Well, he doesn't have the ice rod yet. I mean, it could, he could find it here. I don't know, just like what I was saying, like having options is better than, than no options. Matt Cap now going back up to Hera for the third time, but the first time with a hammer in hand. I wonder what you got to feel about three trips up the mountain like that. Not super great. Laser bridge, yeah, I don't, laser I don't, bridge. What I don't do know why he went up today? to Ether Tablet. That seemed like such a an unusual play. Yeah, like, why not wait for your hammer and or hook shot before doing that and just loop it in there? Nothing on Laser Bridge, though. And Andy save and quit, so that's no spike cave from Andy. What could uh, Pendant Trinex have for us? Flute? Oh, I, I don't know. Hook shot. Bow. Quake Medallion. Okay, we're doing Ice Palace. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's in logic. You got yeah. you got the things. I mean, we're missing a small key to put it completely in logic, but we don't actually need the small key. If you if you just route a little grossly, you can still do all the checks. On a, on a scale of, you know, you see something nasty on the sidewalk to you get slimed. How gross is it? Uh, pretty gross. Okay, I'm <laughs> supposed to put it's like, not, like a nine it's, on the gross scale. <laughs> it's, not, it's not that gross, I guess. It's it's just you have to like go to iced tea the slow way. Is, is getting slimed the maximum gross setting? I was trying to think of the grossest thing that was appropriate for speed gaming channels. Something moist, I think. Slime is pretty moist. I mean, it's got, it, it seems pretty moist, at least. <laughs> <laughs> Q 
Can't be hookshot. Fire wasn't gotten by hovering. Yeah, okay. I, I, all, all I was saying is if Andy had the Ice Rod, he would have killed Trinex instead of checking Lava Chest. Because Trinex is better than Lava Chest. Both, both leads to more, more than one item because of Pedestal. And easier to get back to Lava Chest than it would be to get back to Trinex. So my, my argument was just they're both out of logic. So I'd wait to find out if I got the Ice Rod before doing Lava Chest or not. Also, Trinex could totally beat the Lava Chest in a fight, therefore it is better. And there is the Hookshot putting our Fire Rod in logic. So, rule of fire. Yeah. Bombos leads to Hookshot leads to Fire Rod. <laughs> Toasty! That's shocking. All right, and here's the gross thing I was talking about. See, now Andy doesn't have an extra key, so he has to go the this long way through the uh, mini pots room in order to get to IC. And got bullied by the anti fairy, but it's fine. He he has Bombo, so the magic's not a big deal. All right, Madcap heading into Hookshot Cave here. It's not the end of the world if he doesn't hover to this. Um, but I think you guys said he can hover, so we should probably, we'll probably see it. Yeah, he kills the extra Bari there. That's because he's preparing to hover. Ah. And I think it was in the, the second check was the fire rod, so he only has to hover twice. No, once. He only has to hover once to get the fire rod. First try. Yeah, gets that one, then he can bonk here, and then this is a really tight bonk, but you just line it up, and you can uh, bonk over to this spot right here. And, okay, so he gets the fire out. So even if he misses this last hover, he gets the progression out. The concern here, though, is, like, you know, how much time you're spending doing this. Because, yeah, you know, Andy, tries, Andy just did it first try, no problem. He okay. gets it, though. Just a couple falls. Yes, so, see, totally so first works. try again. Matt may sink time in a TR. Yeah, well, I think you go into TR no matter what. Like, he was always going to go to TR. The fire rod just makes it even better. Yeah, very much like, you're up here, just check what you can, and then dip out. Yeah, it, may, it would make it more painful, you know, having to climb the mountain again after getting your your logical progression for, for that fire rod and say, you know, say Madcap couldn't hover and did this and then left and then got the got the hook shot, got the fire rod later, then came back and did this again. It, it, it kind of Yeah, it, it would have resulted in like one extra climb up the mountain. So, yeah. So like if, if that's all it was, the fire rod just saved you an extra climb up the mountain, then that's like 90 seconds because you hovered. So as long as you didn't waste 90 seconds, it was worth, right? So Andy does find the hookshot in Ice Palace, Crystal Dungeon. So, I mean, Metcap's going to get there pretty soon. Um, and now we take our hookshot into another Crystal Dungeon of Swamp Palace, which we can totally full clear except for one check, but who cares? Nobody cares until it's the one last thing you need, then everybody cares. <laughs> well, it's a different it's a different gamble to skip this the skull big chest and the swamp big chest than it is for like the thieves big chest or the or the lava chest or the ice big chest. Because in in skull and swamp specifically, the big chest is locked by a fetch class. It's it's just one. What is happening, Matcap? Did you skip something? It's just locked by that one big key. And that big key could be anywhere in the game. It could be in GT behind seven crystals or something. You don't know. Where in like Ice and Thieves Town, the big chests are locked by a key that locks other things as well, including the boss. So you're a lot more likely to run into the Ice Big and the Thieves Small before you have to go to those locations compared to Swamp and Skull. Don't die, Matcap. Just gonna drink the potion. Get it out of the way. Yeah, smart. Especially in this in this chain chop room. If you're not if you're not good at baiting them and trying to go fast through them, it's painful. 
Uh, is Andy in the lead? Uh, yes and no. Um, so Matt has been to Pod that Andy hasn't been to. So that's that's really significant. But the most significant thing about the trip to Pod, even though he didn't kill the boss, he got the bow there. So without the bow, Andy is less incentivized to go to Pod, and he might end up doing extra checks um, that Matt Cap will get to skip, even if it even if it results in um, him going to Pod anyway. And Andy does find the Swamp Big in Swamp, so now that's not even a concern. Yeah, I was gonna say, sp speaking about Swamp Big keys, there it is, and just leading to a uh, in the big chest there a, a small key for Ganon's tower. And he was earlier and find the boots hammer and TRI's page. Yeah, so well, the boots, I don't think we're, are going to be that big of a deal. Um, MacApp didn't take that much longer to find the boots. Um, it, it takes it's you have to have the boots for a significant amount of time before it really starts making a difference in in uh, yeah. the time between our between opponents. <laughs> and then the hammer thing, uh, MacApp did take longer to get the hammer, but he went to pod because he didn't have the hammer. So like, if that ends up being the key to the race, then finding the hammer later was actually better. Rando, yeah, I... Rando is sometimes complicated, where, <laughs> like, you don't actually want to find certain things. Even if you need them later, mm -hmm. getting them early can be detrimental. Yeah. Like, that, the boots advantage, I think, got eaten up way... Ooh, flute, nice. Pro progression on left side swamp, that is very significant. But, uh, yeah, I was saying, the, the boots advantage got eaten up, like right when they were dipping into Dark World, because they had pretty much evened themselves up back up then and were basically synced on their uh, first Dark World dip. So that's that's the fact that Andy got the boots first has been long, long gone at this point. So we need a pod big key for no mode. And unless, unless Myers Quake, maybe Quake and pod big key. Yeah, I'm thinking it's definitely likely that Andy's going to put off Pod a little bit longer here and go check out the Meyer area and hopefully get in and not have to go on a medallion hunt somewhere. Yeah, going and killing Mocula, going and killing Vitreus. These are all things he will definitely want to do before Pod. Yeah, true. You can you can head around the back of uh, Skullwoods now and uh, light up the light up the moth there, the fire rod. He doesn't have a Skullwoods key marked on his tracker. Um, I think one was in Desert. I guess the other one was in Pod. So that would have been then. That would have been right side Desert, which Andy didn't. He stole to. the key, right? In in Pod, or I'm sorry, in Skull. So he can't get to Mothula without uh, a key. Yeah. Hmm. All right, Matt saves and quits from Laser Bridge as well. So uh, no Spike K for him either. Yeah, Andy, Andy went to TR all the way to Laser Bridge as well and check Lava Chest. All right, this is Bombo's tablet from Andy. Meanwhile, Matcap doing the only thing that makes sense, going and clearing a crystal dungeon. Oh, there's that skull oh. key. Failed <laughs> out. Once That'll again, it. failed out. <laughs> or or is it being bailed out? Is does this bail him out or does this make it worse? Because without <laughs> a without a skull key, he probably would have gone to pod sooner. But is is going to pod even the best thing for Andy right now? It's it's impossible for us to say. We don't know where the pod big is. All I know for sure is that the best move for Andy would be to go to the place that has the pod big key. I just don't know where that is. <laughs> yeah. 
Come on, Andy. Andy, use your brain and figure out where that is and go right there. The best move is find progression. Well, not not just the progression, but the correct progression. Like it would not be good for Andy to find the other bow, right? Because the if he finds the other bow, that just gets him to go to pod, and then there's nothing there. We, he, he doesn't even get the bow, or, or like the bow is not even a good de idea. Like it doesn't help him to find the second bow. It's not just finding the progression, it's THE progression. Yeah, you gotta find the right progression in the right order. Would a bow motivate him to go to pod when he has the mire area? No, he'd still go to mire first. But if Andy does find the pod big key from these checks, um, that's really good for him. Because with the pod big key, he's more incentivized to going to pod where he finds a bow, which would be go mode. And that cap, unfortunately, was routing like he had a small key, but doesn't have a small key. All this Andy speculation while Madcap's in the race? Well, it's because Andy has the advantage and the choices. Madcap has the disadvantage and is out of choices right now. Yeah, Madcap kind of the, just following behind where Andy yeah, is done and the, not finding that other progression, like, you know, GT big or, or pod big at this point. If, if Madcap can find those, that kind of rubber bands him a little bit a little bit back, back uh, forward. Yeah, so it's like the only reasonable play for Madcap after Turtle Rock was to do Ice Palace, which he's doing. And the only reasonable play for him to do after Ice Palace is to go do Swamp, which he'll do. So until he's until he's done those things, see, there's no there's no real choices for him to make. Right, GT big key is in GT, right? It's special special key sanity. And he goes for the pet check, nothing on the pedestal. It was pretty unlikely, but possible. Possible. All right, Andy going after the Meyer area here. This is uh, three overworld checks, and we can full clear Meyer unless it's quake. I couldn't see. Was it quake? It, it, with the with the the low resolution on the on the restream window and the pallet shuffle, I couldn't see. I couldn't even see on the uh, chess says it was ether one. So All right, well, he's going back into the Dark World, so it's not Quake. Confirmed. Well, I thought Madcap would go to Swamp, but yeah, I guess he has the Skull Keys, so he can just go to Skull first. Is it an aesthetic thing or a color blindness thing? Uh, he's using a uh, palette shuffle. It just randomizes the colors. <laughs> it took like six slashes, but he he found the popo. <laughs> popo saw that one coming for a while.
All right, we are full clear Meyer, and there is our wonderful ice rod. Yeah, so we'll totally be going back to try an X, right? Right? I mean, I couldn't tell it was an ice rod, but he has the fire rod, so it had to be the ice rod, right? Yeah, that's the ice rod. Kind of blended in with the gray palette. But... Yeah, I, it didn't look like the ice rod. <laughs> uh, we have not seen green pen to turn in. The four turtle rocky. I think it. I think it must have been in pod. The shovel was that in pod? Yeah. Okay. So behind behind pod, just not directly. Ice Rod's just one check though. It's not. <laughs> it's not. It's not like it unlocks a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. We just we just like having fun with the ice rod. And we already know Ped's dead, so that's out of the question. Big key for Pod. Well, Andy went to the place that had the Pod big key. That's what he needed. That's I was I was thinking about saying that yeah if, if that pod big key is here in Meyer on the way that'd be very very good and that is very very good. All right, so all Andy has to do to find go mode is to go to pod, and after full clearing Meyer here and pods his best option. It's not his only option, but it is his best option. So as long as he doesn't do anything super silly like go kill Trinex, which he can't even do. Never mind, he can't even do that. Oh, or never mind. Oh, the, okay. the other, the other bow is just in here. Whatever. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All right. So the pod double dip was actually super harmful for Matcap. Just go to the progression. <laughs> That's what we were saying. Just, just go find progression and the right one. And Meyer had the the better the better flavor of it. Uh, I do not believe Andy will be finding silvers in this seed. Wasn't wasn't the bow in the Stalfos room? Yeah, I think it was Stalfos. He won't do Stalfos yeah. room. He's just gonna. He might. He might open the bridge chest because it's right there. But that's it. But that is that is go mode for Andy. Uh, so Matt Cap definitely, definitely trailing behind here. Well, Matt Cap won't get silvers either. Because uh, his Goma will just be finding that pod big, which you're going to find before going to that chest. It's not even it's not even that he gets the go mode pod, it's that he gets the go mode pod, which we had three keys and logical access to, like what, like fifteen minutes into the seed. You just you, Andy just always had somewhere better to go and ended up finding go mode before ever coming here. Yeah, if if that other bow hadn't been right there in the Meyer checks, I mean, Andy would have gotten, you know, probably have come here next anyway and gotten. Yeah, he just bow, he just goes straight to pod. Like he like there were some other like little things he could do, but they all sucked. Now he can just go here where he's gonna go anyway, but do it faster. Yeah, so the, the bow in Meyer ends up not being all that impactful, just like a little bit better than not. It doesn't even open the bridge chest. What if it was silvers? That would have been worth. Yeah.
Yeah, Matt's ca- Matt Cap skipping left side is not great. He'll probably go back in though, right? Yeah, should should go back in. Like, what else are you gonna do? Andy making his way through Palace of Darkness. Very dark indeed. It's called Palace of Darkness because it's the walls are so bright you have to wear sunglasses. Uh, if you're if you're gonna do left side no matter what, it's um, faster to do it first. But, you know, Madcap, Madcap didn't, he was hoping to not do upside swap. That's why he skipped it initially, because if he found something good enough in the back, he would justify not going back in at all. And not doing left side swamp is faster than doing left side swamp. Unless there's something there. Who to thunk? Not doing something if you don't need to do it is faster than doing it and getting burned. <laughs> wow. Well, I, I know it sounds obvious, but... It's a uh, that's it's it's an important concept in randomizer. Like a uh, routing efficiently efficient ah, routing efficiently is very very important, but it is completely overshadowed by just not doing things that don't have progression. Like the entirety of Palace of Darkness. Yeah. <laughs> Tur tur turns out that that wasn't needed. Speaking and of pod, Andy has received his seventh crystal and will be yeah. headed towards Ganus Tower. In Ganus Tower, there are 22 item locations, one of which will contain the big key because this is tournament keys, not regular keys. So if you'd like to guess which location has that big key, now would be the time to get your guesses in. Any number between 1 and 22. I'm feeling uh, 5 today. Um, I think Madcap also had green pen to turn in. I don't think he checked Zora. He skipped it early and then and chose to go to pod instead of running over to it. Yeah, just picked up that Bombos medallion on the ledge and did catfish, but then went to pod after catfish, so never looped in Zora. And I know what no one turned the green pendant in after getting it. Harry found the big key in the first chest earlier. Hacks. <laughs> you gotta be you gotta be really good at the game to do something like that. All right, Andy opting for the right side first. This is typically indicative of two different routes. But uh, with all the small keys, one is typically better than the other. Coming down on the right side, just knock a couple of these Gibdos around. We can get to Compass Room for four checks. And there it is in there check is. number three. Oh, I was too off. I was close. That's probably the closest I've been all tournament. Oh my god, there's so many numbers. All right. Um, Eagle Eye 3 has guessed three. That is an, a very appropriate name for getting the correct guess first today. I, I salute you. Uh, and a few good taters also guessed three. Probably just copying Eagle Eye, though. GG's to both of you.
you wonder if Andy's in the lead. Well, as long as he doesn't die to so to phase four Ganon like five or six times, he should be okay. Actually, maybe more than that. <laughs> Depending on uh, Madcap's route. Andy making quick work of the gauntlet here. Should see a, a nice NMG strat for Lamo. Very smooth. I heard you liked um, fried snake. Do you think they're more snakes or worms? I think they're worms, right? Because they go like earthworms. They go under the ground. Uh, a lot, of, a lot of types snakes burrow too, though. Do they? Do they? I. That's creepy. <laughs> well, that was a strat. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Just conserving magic, I guess. Hey, it, it worked. Yeah, he and he must have done that specifically to conserve magic. I, because I, I don't think it was faster than just using Samaria. Yeah, it was a little. Even with half magic, it was a little bit on the low side there. Did that? Uh, did that first torch room with mostly lamp. We got enough keys, so no need to go a little mini Helmosaur, and no bamboozle going to happen at the door here. Oh, gets bodied by Moldorm, but who cares? I'm just going to hover it anyway. <laughs> that was clean, Mold and Moldorm stayed up in the corner, just uh, just as he should. There was That's a good... Funny. He specifically was trying to dash through Moldorm, and Moldorm bumped him out of the dash. <laughs> there was another good Moldorm I saw where he just kind of bumped around the one edge, and just whoever the runner was just kind of hovered on the left side over. It's like, yeah, it was a very nice Moldorm. And we are at math class now. Oh, nice triple. Ah, uh, shame that second one didn't count because the two balls hit at the same time. No, I, th I think one of them missed. One, did one, you, was, did you one, one went miss? over him. Over him, yeah. All right. Three, two, one. Not bad. What was that route from Madcap? <laughs> what? He went... I don't know where he went. He went all the way to like the big key door and then hookshot it across to go back to the bridge. Alright, but Madcap's in go mode. Oh, Andy, be careful. I think he should have a potion if he needs it. Did you find the arrows in pod? No, I did not. I was in go mode in pod. And now we spin to win. Hey, that rhymes. I mean, I I'm a little nervous because Andy's at, at three and a half hearts, but he's also, I know he's good enough that he 
most likely oh, we got, one chance won't get hit here. <laughs> we got blue mail too, so he'll live through a uh, fire bat. Oh, does he even have a fairy? Well, regardless, there goes the big pig has fallen. And Andy takes the win and the series over Metcalf. GG. Everybody, GG for Andy. Just, just barely missing that sub 130. Yeah, 90-minute 90, 90, 90 key sanity is, uh, is pretty jet. Podbig was in Meyer. Matcap uh, just found it. But he's a, he's a bit behind. He still has to go kill Helma and then climb GT. So maybe like, I don't know, eight minutes? Nine? I don't know how long Pod takes. I don't know if we're getting interviews or anything. Looks like Matcap's gonna play it out, though. Just a uh, just a quick trip to our good buddy, the Helmosaur King, and then uh, one climb up GT behind. I'm sure I'm sure Madcap's not gonna be <laughs> too upset or anything about this though. Like it, it was a pretty big accomplishment to take a game off Andy at all. And speak of the pug, and he shall appear. Hello, Andy. GG. Hello, GG. Um, you're a you're a lucky duck. Sometimes <laughs> there were <laughs> there were a couple of times where I'm like, well, Andy's screwed. Oh no, no, he's not. Never mind. That <laughs> that was... blue rupee on the way to Zora. My goodness. So <laughs> I grabbed that one rupee extra from Dig Game to get that even 500. Completely forgot I had to spend 10 on oh, yeah. on uh on the smith and i like noticed i was at 495 as i was walking up there and i was like what happened <laughs> um <laughs> but then like i remembered when i when i checked bombos initially the crabs were in the money pack so i was pretty confident i was gonna get at least the the blue drop so i wasn't too worried about it uh see that that's some good some good thinking there remembering what your uh, item packs are Yeah, other than that, this was a this was a, a fun, an actually fun key sanity seed in a tournament. I, I didn't know that existed. Uh, uh talk to us about Eastern. Yes, Cause, please. Because chat chat likes to argue with me, but I felt like you did Eastern early. Um, so Eastern early, because this was you did it. You had like a weapon and a bunch of bombs, and instead of going to like South Shore, like you know you would expect most runners to do, you went. Eastern. Um, in keys, it's a little different than normal. For uh, sure. Eastern, Eastern is basically just as valuable, uh, regardless of whether you can beat it or not in keys as South Shore is. Um, so I figured I would just change it up a little bit. Um, I don't think either play is like wrong, really, but e early Eastern is way easier in keys than anything else. Yeah, my, my concern was that it was uh, before before South Shore because there were there were things you could find on South Shore that make Eastern much better, but not that many things you could find in Eastern to make South Shore that much better. So it seemed it seemed risky. 
Yeah, that's but, fair. I uh, I just I think it's too early uh, to where um, it probably wouldn't have mattered either way, regardless of whether Eastern paid out or not. Um, the one thing, like in keys, it's pretty common to fake flipper to hobo no matter what, just because you know an extra item checks an extra item check. Um, so like getting, uh, getting like boots or flippers or pearl or money, you know, gives a little more weight for to sure. doing slash or second. Um, I don't even remember. I don't think I had any of those things at the time. No. Um, you guys were on like thirty-five rupees or something when yeah, you found the flippers. Yeah, it was. It was. <laughs> it was pretty. Uh, I, I almost thought about like pulling. Uh, Pulling the the stupid fifty rupee rock on the way to desert and do that four times. I was like, that's like a minute. I'm I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> four four wouldn't have, have even been enough. You were I think you were like two fifty short. It, it had to be like five or six. So even worse. Oh maybe yeah. It was it was rough money early, but. But yeah, this was a this was a fun race. The the desert play was I I was trying to figure out uh, whether I wanted to do it with Bombo's tablet, but that would have felt really gross if Bombo's tablet didn't really pay off. Um, so I just opted not to, um, which ended up being the correct decision, I guess. Um, putting off Pod uh, till so late felt really really good, and I laughed when I saw that the other bow was in Pod. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we are joined by Matt Cap as well. Matt Cap, welcome. GG. Hey, hello. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, GG, Sandy, and Conrad. Uh, GG's Matt. Thank you. Thank you. So, so Andy actually went to Eastern uh, super early, like before before South Shore and got those boots right away. So we were really concerned that you, you would end up not getting Eastern because you actually found Dark World Access in Sahaswa's hut, opened the save and quit menu, and then changed your mind and went to Eastern anyway. Can you talk to us about that, Matt Cap? Oh, yeah, I don't know. It's like you're there, but it's keys and it's a bow and a big key. I mean, the first game, like in Vertical Sanity, I always think just rush. The Harasla or Eastern because for some reason the soul was there, the bow was there, and I don't know, it was like there might be something and you're not gonna go back on ages. I honestly felt like really good after found. Obviously, yeah. it's like okay, definitely at least going inside here is worth it. I don't know. I was thinking that maybe after yesterday's game where Andy also delayed Kakarot. So I don't know. I think you kind of just want to hope didn't found them to be honest i well, just was... want to hold and go from there <laughs> doing eastern was definitely better than not doing eastern yeah uh, in sure. this in this particular scene yeah seeing seeing where the the second glove was and then later finding out that eastern was a pendant uh i was like man if you don't go into eastern early this is like worst possible scenario uh it only had like boots and like thieves town small, which didn't lead to anything. I think it had like a Meyer small, uh, so it really just. I think that was in old man, right? Um, I think so. Definitely not in eastern. Definitely. The thieves small. Yeah. Was that? Yeah, that was. The oh, maybe. What was the... there was two small keys. It was maybe it was another turtle rock key or something. I don't know, but it wasn't yeah, super small. useful. That could have been really bad if like either one of us chose to to delay Eastern until later. Yeah, I yep. mean, I, I I know how I would have routed this, and I would not have gotten the boots in the seed, and I would have felt <laughs> really bad about it. Yeah, that's you get them like forty minutes after or something like that. And like once you go to pod, yeah, that's really bad. So the the big divergence between you was um. Desert and Pod. Uh, so Andy, Andy ended up. Um, his routing led him to getting the the book a little earlier, and he was in a position where going to Pod or going to Desert made more sense earlier, and ended up doing that and getting the hammer. Where Macap, you got the book later, and then your your option was okay, I can keep going east over to Catfish and to Pod, or I can just go to Desert now. I thought you might go to Desert because you had the. Um. What was I going to say? Because the, the book just um, Desert 
had the green pendant. That was a thing. All right, Desert had green pendant, so I thought you might go get the green pendant and then do that with Pod later. But you know, without the hammer, it's really hard not to go there. I thought about it because you can like leave the portal, I guess. But I wasn't sure if it's that was worth it. And then I thought. I can't do the tablet if I do that. I don't know. I wasn't sure. So in the end, I just said, let's just go to pod. It's three keys. The fourth key can be anywhere, literally. So like the bag, it's really close to being in logic. So a lot of items. And yeah, I uh, kind of forgot about Sora. I wasn't sure once I was there, uh, which I don't know. I felt really bad about that later. But, well, it wasn't nothing. It wasn't anything. I think it was a hard container. At Yo. least. So... So, I don't know, that was, uh, it was a really hard decision, to be honest, I wasn't sure about what doing, because the book, uh, I, I almost thought about, like, going to Graveyard Ledge with the purple chest or something like that, but I feel you can't dash, and I can't go. so I said I could just, like, route this all the way to the south, and route everything in the north, and I think I'm covering, like, pretty much everything decently, and, like, almost... I, I, I think in like in keys you have to like think that you're probably going to double dip at least some dungeon and I think pod it's a good one for that so like if you can go to the back goes well obviously once I found the bow there I felt really good uh... <laughs> yeah we we were we were thinking that was gonna be the critical find was the bow and pod uh, but Andy just kept finding everything until he found everything but the bow. And then he found a bow anyway, when uh, in Misery Mire. Yeah, Pod Pod was like very clearly the next my next decision, anyways. So even if there wasn't one, yeah, the the extra bow didn't matter, but like finding the Pod yeah. Big Keith did. Yeah. Um, yeah, for sure. Once you have that, and you can go with the hammer from five and everything, it's an easy. Like you put you put Pod Big Key on Trinex and uh, you guys even up really fast because Andy's Andy's gonna go to Pod and spend that time that Madcap had spent earlier, and then everything's all even again. I can't believe yeah. there was nothing in a like a really early three key rock. Big Key Turtle Rock. <laughs> um, yeah, I, need to... I cannot believe there's nothing in there. Madcap had four the same keys. Same thing that happened in my last in my last round the same thing and i skipped it and it's like okay i cannot skip turtle rock with four keys again that it's crazy and yeah nothing well it was the third meyer key so I, it was like okay there has to be something in cutscene there has to like the pod big key has to be there no not even that <laughs> the ice rod was there oh okay. yeah <laughs> it was on left side anyways <laughs> yeah i did get that I didn't get the pod, but i did get the ice rod <laughs> that was funny um yeah, I thought like my first like 30, 35 minutes of this were really, really efficient. Um and I think that that led to my like uh my desert play after Hera and all that stuff. Um And then yeah, getting the hammer and then you know uh doing the mountain, doing ice palace, like everything just kinda it's just a little little breadcrumb trail uh, to not going to pod. <laughs> yeah, you just always had something that was just slightly better. Yeah. And of course, the whole time you're just waiting for the Eastern Big Key to show up instead of the pod Big Key. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's coming. But then it didn't. Yeah. Uh, well, at least so it wasn't uh, Trinex. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the the routing that ended up making uh, getting the hammer e uh, easier for Andy was how you had skipped Skullwoods initially. Um. So because because of that, that means when you go to Skullwoods for the first time, you already have the mirror, so you get those uh, the North Dark World checks with it. Um. But we were I was surprised you skipped Skullwoods in in this seed though after the the early Eastern play, and then you did the the two checks in Swamp Play 2, and I'm like, wow, I mean, he's he's being super thorough. Why would he skip Skull Woods? Can you talk to us about that? Um, yeah, I didn't really want to do Skull Woods without uh, like, like, I could have gone up there first, but then you're isolating Graveyard Ledge mostly, um, 
and then you know getting the mirror in thieves town i could have gone back up there um but then you know then i'm i e either way i'm gonna do that and then come all the way back to to village of outcast to do you know smith chain and and south dark mm -hmm. worlds um um and uh, i'd rather you know and then if i'm doing if i'd already done skull woods and then done the south route i'm way more enticed into going to pod instead of leaving right which um, is what happened with uh Metcalf. so uh like i figured i'd rather just like do it all like back to back and since i was already like heading south from thieves town i'd just stick with it uh, you actually went back to Skullwoods like immediately too, which uh, I also surprised me. I thought you would have gone to to Hera first, but like as soon as you were done with Hype Cave, you went straight back to Skullwoods. Yeah, with that, I uh, um, I uh, just preferred to to put it off for a little bit, hoping to find like something to make it a little more lucrative than just Hera. Um, right. And so the the book sent me up there. With at least you know the the one extra check, uh, <laughs> and then you so know were you, like, were you going to pod if uh, if you didn't get the book right there? Probably pod was on the radar, and then I got the book, and I was like, okay, well that opens up desert. That gives me one more thing on the mountain. So let's reassess after the mountain, and then the mountain had three <laughs> pod smalls, and I was <laughs> like, <laughs> all right. Um, so bailing on pod was like a hundred percent the play for me for me right there. Um, and then uh, I don't know. Getting back to pod was so gross. Uh, I was like, let's just let's just go to desert and, and see what happens. First, first comes to worst, I can just run all the way to pod anyways. And you get the green pendant to turn in while you're there. Yeah, yeah. That was another that was another thing that I could at least you know beat desert uh, even if it was out of logic. Um, and have that extra turn in on the way to pod. Well, everything everything uh, pretty much lined up very nicely for this seed. You just had to route one way and not a hundred other ways. Let's go to where the items are, <laughs> forehead. <laughs> yeah. Um. Works are good. <laughs> yeah, I only made that joke like five times during this time. <laughs> yeah, I think I made it like twice, so we're we're pretty stacked on that one today. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for, for commentating. I appreciate it a lot. Um, thank you, Matt, for, for the good races. Uh, all of my bracket matches have been very good so far. Um, it's uh, stressful a little bit. <laughs> um, yeah. I finally I finally broke the Sabatender curse from 2019. Uh, we didn't get eliminated in round one. Um, so we're, we're feeling good. Well, G G's to the both of ya. Yeah, uh, huge G's to Andy, and uh, hope he does well. I'm well. I uh, I can be happy, you know. Uh, qualifiers were a bit messy. The same round as last year, fortunately. I would have hoped to go at least one round more, but well, uh, and Gons Wild destroyed me last year in round of thirty-two. At least this was close, and it was a good series, and yeah, in the end you can't hope for more than that. And yeah, uh, big thanks to everyone for commentating, the tournament that means, Speed Gaming, and everyone involved. It's been a really fun tournament again, and... Well, the upside is, you know, uh, the tournament is finished, and I get to rest a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Which is always nice, to be yeah. honest, and yeah. Poor well, Andy has has to keep playing yeah. this game. Yeah, ima imagine having to keep continue playing Rando. Yeah, well, cross keys and casual boots are coming up subtly, so... Very, very soon. Stuff. Yeah. The, the tourneys never stop. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I think that about wraps it up here. Um... Thanks, thank you, Koi, for commentating with me. Always a pleasure. And uh, Jinxy Girl for tracking today, keeping us honest. Um, there are two more matches today, both at 6 10 p.m. Eastern. We got Telethar versus Zero Rush and Plasma Kappa versus Chimo. Both of them are game threes, so I hope you have two monitors and you can watch both at the same time. Uh, one of those is on Speed Gaming 
uh, vanilla, and one of them is on speed gaming four. And then from there on out, we'll get the rest of the uh, round of 16 starting to be scheduled over the next week or so. And uh, keep your eyes glued to that schedule to see when your favorite racers might be racing again. Unless they're eliminated. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, we'll see in the round of 16, you know, still got a few there, and then... Then if, then if maybe your favorite racer is eliminated, you can stop watching. But I don't want you to stop watching. I want you to keep watching Speed Gaming. Keep watching L ALTTB randomizer channels. And just just bathe yourself in lovely rando forever and ever until the end of time. Alright, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye. See you next time.